Mercedes Monet f***ing sucks. Well, she doesn't suck, but her presentation so far in AEW is complete and utter garbage. It's awful. And you know why it's awful? I'm not going to just sit here and be like, oh, I don't like Mercedes Monet. I'm going to provide you a visual representation of why her run in AEW so far has been very, very bad. Boom. All right. So we got a little graph here. Up at the top, we have good wrestler, bad talker. At the bottom, we have good talker, bad wrestler. This is the spectrum that any wrestler can fall in between. Ideally, you'd want to be kind of in the middle, right? Depending on the situation, depending on the promotion. Let's let's say up here is like Dean Malenko and then down here is like I don't know, Paul Heyman. Where in the spectrum does Mercedes Monet fall, do you think? Because if you look at her presentation in AEW, they clearly have this image of her that is toward, more towards the bottom than the top, which is bass backwards. She is way more towards Dino up there. She's a great in-ring wrestler. One of the best in the world, just very seamless, very athletic, very smooth, has a catalog of great matches to her credit, which begs the question, why the fuck isn't she wrestling? I mean, she debuted on March 13th, 2024, and she's not wrestling until Double or Nothing, which is May 26th, 2024. That is two and a half months in between debuting and having her first match. I'm sorry, the star power that many claim that Mercedes has does not justify a two and a half month lead time in between her showing up and her having her first match. That is way overboard, that is way overkill. There's no way any match that she has at Double or Nothing is going to justify this build up. And speaking of build up, she's been there what about a month now. What has happened? She keeps she cuts the same promo every time she's on TV. She has kind of sort of been building to a match with Willow, which that whole story is this. Here's that whole story. Me and Willow faced each other once and she won. Now I want to wrestle her again. That's it. Very shallow storytelling. And even if you disagree with me in terms of her speaking abilities, in terms of her promo abilities, she's had all this time to speak, whether it's on commentary, whether it's in ring, whether it's backstage vignettes, no story has been built. No character development has happened. She's taken all this time to verbally put herself over and has accomplished nothing. How do we solve this? I don't know. Maybe have her lace up some fucking boots and wrestle a person on the wrestling show because as per the graph, that's what she does best. Why are we not highlighting her strengths? Why are we amplifying her weaknesses? She's barely advertised for these shows anymore. It's just already a disaster in my opinion. It's almost like it's, it's too WWE for a lack of a better term. It's very like... You know, if somebody's right here and, and she's talking to somebody, she has to be like, what? How could you say that to me? Like she's like she's so focused on how she looks. She's more focused on the images and the gifs and the clips than creating the actual content in the moment. And it's translating into damn near just hard to watch segments that do nothing for anybody. And don't get me started on that stupid ass theme song.